Christchurch Harbour today. Um, just thought I'd do a video, I thought I'd spend a bit more time talking about some of the tackle that I use now. I did a mullet spinner making video or how I modify a spinner for mullet spinning, so check that out. I'll put a link up in the description um, or uh, on the end of the card or somewhere, but you, you, you'll see a link for that. So what I've got here is a size 2 spinner, now the size doesn't really matter, a lot of people go small but one of the guys today is catching them on a, on a massive spinner so this is size 2, it's usually what I go for, um, we've got an extra barrel, a little bit more weight on this one, it means I can cast it a bit further and the stiff boom just gives it a bit of an anti-tangle property. And you've got like a towel rubber there. And then we've got fluorocarbon. So fluorocarbon, I steam straight, a 12 pound fluorocarbon, little size 12 hook, and a size four Aberdeen. Now, when we're rigging this, um, I think I've got a worm left. I like to get the head end of a ragworm and thread it up with no twists at all. Show you that from another angle. So, what I like to do is, is thread the rag up the hook, get that head over the eye, but I try not to twist the rag. Um, it's a little bit harder while I'm trying to hold the camera and see what I'm doing. But uh, you're getting the gist of it. Try not to twist or turn the rag, but just feed it around. So, you get that nice and straight. Now that's one of the key things to this. It's ending up with a straight worm. So we tease it out straight. So this little hook's got a little bit of silicon sleeve in that stops it sliding back down and compressing and coiling the worm. You want that floating behind the lure. You don't want it spinning around, so you, that's why we try not to get any bends in it. And we always finish either flush or short of that bend. So that's quite important. So the completed rig looks like that. So the whole thing is just over 12 inches, probably 14 inches long, something like that. That's one of them. I'll show you the other one that I've got with me today. So here's the rig. Hopefully that's coming out, but um, that rag worm obviously is a bit dried out where it's been in the sun. But uh, the second one different colour spinner, so silver spinner and I've got a slight modification to this one that I hook and unhook the rig with a towel rubber just cut lead towel rubber so we do that worm change it over Always like to go through the head end, it gives you something secure for that top hook. Try not to twist the worm. Try and finish something like that. When I started, I used to find that I wanted to put a short piece of worm on. The short worms seem to be uh, more prone to spinning, so. I've actually gone longer these days and uh, usually it's about three, four, sometimes five inches of worm. That's it. So when we're fishing this, we obviously flick it out. I'll just do a nice slow retrieve just so the spinner's opening up. And you know, you've got a good retrieve when the spinner's open up, the worm's floating slowly behind it in a straight line. So that's kind of what we're looking for. 
Um, tackle wise, six pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, I've got a Shakespeare Agility LOF rod. I absolutely love this for mullet fishing. Um, gets a nice bend in it. And I think I've got eight pound braid. Tiny little Akuma dual reel. Um, that's it. Everything you need to know. Let's see it in action. Golden rule, find the fish. That's not a bad fish. Whoop. Didn't want it then. Didn't want it then. Thought you throw it away. Yeah. You did throw it away. It's <laughs> Barry into a fish. Get ourselves one. We're in. Lovely fun on this slide, yeah. Very nice stick look. Like. Let me show it to you. Okay. That beaut. Beauty. <laughs> no mate, the, the mullet are really quite sporting, isn't they, when they get going? You get a big one, a, a four pounder or something, and it's it's a nightmare. <laughs> Terrible. It's, it's mullet madness. Look at it. It's all going off. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, Danny said it's very good flounder you had. Straight away, look. There's loads out there. <laughs> Time of the day and it's the same part of the tide. I think Julian needs to get down here, doesn't he? Julian, receiving. Too far away, he's up by that bridge, missing out on it all. Oh, 
Getting hit every cast. Calm down. You're gonna hurt yourself. 